Rule number one of my eight rules to 8% as I came up with whole new content for this tour is focus on revenue. Most insurance agents wake up, we get in the office, it's 9 a.m., I'm gonna get some coffee, I'm gonna go talk to Susie by the printer, I'm gonna go hang out with Joe in his office, I'm gonna go to two hour lunch, I'm gonna need to make calls, but uh, I, you know what, I don't know, I need to get all the details there, I need a script, what do I say, well what if they give me an objection, I'll make calls tomorrow, and before you know it, the whole day is gone. Successful people wake up and they make sales every single day. It's not an option, it's a decision. In our office, we have a sales team and I tell them, hey, you show up, you spend eight, nine, 10 hours with me and you go home and you don't make a sale today, that's a problem. You show up and you don't focus on revenue, creating sales and helping people and you go home and you sold nothing? Why did we show up to begin with? Who believes in what you sell? Who believes that if you sell it, you help someone? Who believes that when you sell it, you leave them in a better situation than when you found them? Or I hope you wouldn't sell it. I believe that you should believe that if you were to believe in what I believe, that you would start doing a lot more of this. Because I believe if you show up and you're sitting in front of a prospect and you can help them, you can put them in a better situation, you have the product or service that they need, and you do not close the deal, you do not sell them, you are doing them a disservice. Who actually fully believes that? Then why don't we start thinking that when we walk in? Why don't we start thinking that in every house, on every call? Because our family got a little bit of a rude awakening on December 26, 2020. Day after Christmas, my mom's best friend's husband, who we've known for several decades, not too many decades, I'm only 30, but you know, several decades, okay? And my mom called me the evening of December 26, 2020, just a few weeks ago. And she said, Cody, Jeff just passed away in his driveway and was electrocuted by a light pole while he was painting it. This is my mom's best friend. And her husband's the one that passed away. You know, one of the first thing that came to mind for me what do you think it was? What, was? what do you think my first thought was? Well, I wish my first thought would have been, I hope he has life insurance. It was, but really the question I ask myself is, why didn't you get in front of them to make sure? because what most people don't know is he was on my warm market list a decade ago. I didn't get in front of him. I don't blame them, I blame me. I could have put in the effort, I could have followed up, I could have been better on the phone, I could have went 12 touches, I could have drove to the house, I could have done whatever it take to get in front of him, but I didn't. That's a problem. How would you have felt in that moment? Are there friends and family that if that were to happen tomorrow, how would you feel? I can tell you that I should have been better. I should have been better. And I can also fortunately say that he had plenty of life insurance, supposedly which I don't think you can ever have enough, an accident policy, and the family's well taken care of. However, I know that if I get in that home, he probably ends up with more. Everything shifts when you start to focus on helping everyone you can. And when you can help them, you should, or you're doing them a disservice.
Who's going to commit now to focus on revenue, to push the bottom line, to increase your income, and to change your financial future forever in 2021? Thank you. Rule number two, focus on your potential. My wife and I just bought a uh, three quarters of a million dollar home in Springfield, Missouri, which, you know, in, in big old Missouri, it's, it's, it's pretty nice. And I looked at her on day two and I said, babe, it's still too small. I said, I, 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 you, you deserve a better life. I deserve a better life. I need to show up more. Who else wakes up a little bit disappointed, dissatisfied, driven, knowing that you got a lot more in the tank, knowing you can go a lot farther than what you've gone? In those moments, I'm typically focused on the now and where I currently sit versus my actual, real, true potential. <clears throat> I want to challenge you today to start to focus on your true potential because the moment I think I've arrived, I'm going to get arrogant, I'm going to have an ego, and I can promise you, none of us will ever actually arrive. We will never actually reach our full, true potential. But by being focused on chasing it instead of where you currently sit, you will force yourself to level up. You will force yourself to get better. You will force your life to get a lot better. Most people think they've made it. Most people think they can't get a whole lot better. Most people think maybe they can't work a whole lot harder. Maybe they think their income can't go up that much. I'm here to tell you, if you start focusing on your true potential, you're not even close. And I'm not either. Everything will shift the moment that you start focusing on what your actual, true potential is. Far too many people focus on where they currently sit instead of where they can go, where they can end up, how good life can get. But you have to focus on your potential instead of where you currently are. Say yes if that makes sense. Yes. Say yes if you're with me. Yes. Say yes if you're going to do this in 2021. Yes. Good. Here's what I know. The more energy you guys give me today, the better I perform. Okay? Okay? That's how, that's how this thing works, all right? And I'm guessing that the better I perform, the more motivated you leave, the more nuggets you get, and the more money you make in 2021. Am I right? Yeah. Sure. Good. Thank you for being engaged. Who's going to apply to rule number two in 2021? Excellent. To conquer the industry, you're going to have to put in a lot of work. You're going to have to do a lot of things that you don't want to do. That's what I love about the insurance industry. It's the hardest career on planet Earth. But for those that like to win, and for those that choose to never quit, it gets really, really good. Who's been in the industry a while where you can raise your hand and say, you know what, as long as the new agents in the room don't quit, life gets really good in the insurance industry. I'm telling you, look around at the amount of hands that just raised in our room, which tells you that as long as you don't quit, as long as you stay the course, as long as you do whatever it takes, life is going to get really good. And if you think about it, like we wake up, we show up, we get in the industry, and we're like, life, please get really good for me. Pl pretty please. And you just saw that as long as you don't quit, life is going to get freaking amazing. Who would love for their life to get a lot more amazing than it is today in 2021? Who would like for you to look back in one year and say, man, 2021 was the best year of my life. Who would like to look back in a decade and say, you know what? Because of what I did in 2021, life got really good. 2021 can be the best year of your life. 
and it will be, but you've got to decide for that to happen. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. Anyone watching this can become a millionaire in our industry. Most people don't know this. 4% of all companies in the US do seven figures a year. Here's also another stat most people don't know. Also, there are more of these in the industry.